Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today it's still nearly Easter, so I'm going to do another Easter thing. Because of my recent obsession with anything with egg in it, or even just egg in its name, um, I'm going to do a long version of a Cadbury's cream egg. That'll be fun. So yeah, I made a kind of replica Cadbury's cream egg the other day, and it was pretty good, but um, it was it was too sweet and for my taste. So for the long version, it's going to be a little bit more sort of grown up. I'm going to do it with dark chocolate and with a marzipan yolk core. So that's those. You want at least 70% cocoa in your chocolate. Um, yellow food coloring for the yolk and the leftover marshmallow fondant which has actually set almost well you know pretty much set like um, marshmallow so I think I might have to melt that a bit in the microwave so I can pour it into this um, actually not this but this which is a sheet of acetate that um, we'll use as you know the former for, for the chocolate shell so you pop it in there that's just to give us a diameter and before you do that cut a piece of sellotape flipping heck here we go oh right so a bit of, bit of sellotape <laughs> use the scissors don't use your teeth it's not hygienic probably and uh, we want to we're not gonna though, are we? Tell you what, let's abandon that. I know that it needs to be, uh, needs to have a couple of centimeters overlap. Tell you what, I'll turn the camera off and come back when I've done it. Right, <laughs> I've done it. Here's what I made earlier. And um, so the next thing to do is melt a, melt a bit of this chocolate. I'm probably only gonna use about half of that. So that would be, what is that? 100 grams, so probably 50 grams, two ounces. Um, I'm gonna melt that the same way as I did with the previous one uh, in the microwave a bit at a time. There we go, melted chocolate, and we put in some extra bits for the tempering thing. And stir those, get those melted. They don't wanna melt. <laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna, hmm. Let's pour it into the tube actually how am I gonna do this so I don't want to pour it straight down on the end so I think I better spoon it in and rotate the tube as we do it yeah that's a good idea maybe slap some in from the other end at least with the acetate you can see where your chocolate is which is a good thing did I mention that working with chocolate is messy? Right, I think I've got a, a good coating in there now. So I'm gonna stick that in the fridge to set. So while we're waiting for the chocolate tube to set, I'm gonna make the yolk and I've got this marzipan. It's actually golden marzipan and some yellow food coloring just to make it even more goldener and to make me fingernails go yellow, because I like that. All right, and we just want to roll that. I know that the length of the tube is 22 centimeters, and um, I want the diameter to be this, the same as uh, this is the Teflon tube that I've used on the long egg things. So I just... Um, wrap it in marzipan and try and roll it into an evenly smooth sausage thing. Right, so I know that the outer tube is going to be 22 centimeters, so I'll just trim this to the same length. And I'll stick that in the fridge as well to kind of harden up. Right, the chocolate outer tube has set, so I'm gonna melt the remaining chocolate and make an end cap. Okay, I've just got a bit of uh, silicone baking sheet so that it won't stick to the plate. And I'm gonna put a dollop of melted chocolate on there. Should be enough. And 
stick the tube on and then I'll put that in the fridge vertically to set. Right, here's my um, chocolate casing, whoa! <laughs> and my yolk, which has actually been in the freezer so that's frozen pretty hard. Um, and the next thing to do is melt the marshmallow and once that's done I'm just going to be improvising and hope that the warm marshmallow doesn't melt the chocolate, but we'll see. Right, 20 seconds in the microwave and that's become sort of runny again. And I'm, right, I'm going to, well, stick it in there through the funnel. This could take some time. <laughs> oh, come on. Right, well, let, let that do its thing and unwrap the yolk. And what I'm hoping I can do is push this in and that will then make the the white climb up the sides and then I can set it in the fridge and then cap it with more chocolate, maybe. Funnel probably wasn't a great idea. Okay, this is well and truly set because uh, that was yesterday. Uh, so now what I'm going to try and do is um, cut the extra acetate off so we can get to the top and then just fill that with molten chocolate. This is just leftover chocolate from yesterday that I've remelted in the microwave and we let that set and then we'll peel it and then we're done. Right that end is set so let's um do the reveal da, da, da. possibly not with scissors <laughs> oh my look at that beautiful shiny chocolate log now what shall i cut him open Ah, <laughs> okay, so the yolk's not quite in the middle, but I think that looks um, pretty spectacular. So I think we'll have a taste. Okay, time for taste test. Oh, mm. That is fabulous. The marzipan, the dark chocolate and the squidgy white fondant. Uh, and I've got all of this. <laughs> Happy Easter. <laughs> and that's that. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Nom nom. <laughs> now please do the usual. Likes, shares, comments, subscriptions, donations, patronage, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching and see you next time. Mm.